Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. Today I got a really quick message and this one's going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, you're the only one that I got a song for. Um, it is by, um, I think her name is Tony Jones, okay? Uh, I'm Sanctuary is the name of the song. I know that for a fact. I'm Sanctuary, okay? I feel like there's um, some um, words in there that you could possibly resonate with, okay? There could possibly be a message in there for you. Okay, you might just simply like this song, but I'm um, Sanctuary is the song that I got for you. It's a really beautiful fucking song. Can I get a card? I'm using, I'm going to start off with the angel cards and keep moving, okay? Can I get a card, please? One card, please, for Capricorn. Capricorn, it says words of abundance. You have the ability to manif to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful positive words always describe your own in the world's economic situation and loving and optimistic terms and that is what you will attract for yourself and others okay so i'm getting choose your words carefully i also just heard be careful what you ask for i feel like your abundance comes through your children okay or your child okay you could have a daughter a little girl showing up very prominent okay i'm all if this is not you having a child I, i'm getting that you, you are a female, you're an instant manifester. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you know the power in words. That's why good things come to you. I'm getting, I'm getting, do a little bit of charitable work as well, especially if you're someone that is very fortunate. Okay. Give back to, to the world, to people, to less fortunate than you, to others. I'm also getting, maybe there's someone around you like an earth sign. They want you to describe how you how you how do you manifest? What is your technique? Now that's your choice whether you want to tell them or not. But someone looks at you as if you're very powerful and you like almost get whatever you want. I think that part of you getting what you want is that you don't hold any resentment or anger about money or tangible things. You are giving. You just give things away. I feel like you know the power in giving. Because I feel like you give out because you know you're always going to get something back, bigger and better than what you gave out. It's not about the intention of you know you're going to get something, but you just know that like to give is very selfless. It's nothing to you. You're very kind. Someone could be, t a Sagittarius could be telling you to use your words carefully. Watch what you say. I feel like there's a Sagittarius possibly, maybe an earth sign that's giving you some insight about the power behind words. And how we use them to manifest. I feel like part of their speech is to be optimistic. Have no resentment um, about money. Can I get a card, please? Moving on. But that's your message from the angels. Okay, Cappy. Can I get a card, please? The sun card. It says, lie your way out. Ooh. Abortion? Overall deck? If you're with a child, I don't I think the child is the abundance. It is the gift. You could be thinking about getting abortion. I don't think that you're supposed to, in my opinion. think you asked for a child or you asked for children and you got them. Anyways, moving on. Why is the lie your way out here? Yeah, the lover's card. Death card. 
you're in a relationship, you're in a soul connection here. You asked for this. I'm also getting you attract you attract people. that defeat you or make you feel like giving up or they lie to you. You may attract people that try to use you for money. Be very honest with you. The lie your way out card is throwing me off with the lover's card and the death card. But if this is the case, I feel like you desired some type of connection here. You didn't give up on the connection. You manifested this. But the abortion card would be to abort something. You want to you want to get rid of it. You want to get rid of this connection. You feel like giving up on this connection. You don't see no future in this connection. You may feel like someone is lying or holding something back from you, which is causing a disconnection or an imbalance or unhappiness within this connection. The problem is, is that you asked for this connection. You manifested, you attracted. this connection it could you could be the Sagittarius a Gemini a Scorpio yeah you felt a strong connection to someone you you chose someone based off of their sex or their looks But it's it's a burden. I feel like you I feel like you if you are with a child, if you have a child with this person, you have now created a strong soul tie, a, a major connection. I don't know, I don't see you getting out of this relationship anytime soon. Um, I feel like you you manifested it, you you attracted it to you. It, it was a very sexual, very, very, or it is a very sexual connection. I feel like the lie your way out is you like ignoring all the red flags. Maybe the red flags were to tell you to not have this person's child. Maybe this person came to you and gave you a little bit of truth, but not all the truth. And I just heard entanglement. I feel like, like that's what's happening here. Moving on. Capricorn, but words of abundance. Watch what you say. Watch how you say it. Choose your words carefully, okay? Especially when it comes to love, okay? Because I feel like what you're looking for is someone that is um, passionate. Um, not, I feel like you're looking for someone that's passionate and confident and someone that is very loyal, someone that shares the same values of you, someone that you're compatible with sexually and mentally. You're looking for some type of shared union but i feel like what you are attracting is something quite it's like it starts off like that but then it just derails to something completely different you actually get the quite opposite the relationships become all sexual based it, it i feel like this person like they're not very um financially um supportive towards you they lie this could be a karmic a karmic tie. They could possibly juggle you and lie about it. I feel like something starts off perfect or something 
is majorly imbalanced. In your love life, I feel like it's um, the the imbalance is the it's it's a lot of lies, a lot of dishonesty. Yeah, maybe someone could possibly even I feel like someone I don't know. I'm not gonna go there. All right, well, that's what I got for you. I feel like I feel like choose your words carefully is the message, okay? Um watch what energy that you are exuding in the environment because you are what you attract, okay? You, you, if you're negative, you're going to attract nothing but negativity. If you're fucking carrying good energy, then nothing but good energy is going to come to you. Okay. Yeah. Be kind, be sweet and watch the words that you keep. That's what I'm hearing. And that's what I'm saying.